My most vivid memories are of the days when my life changed. I remember coming to this earth, feeling the sun on my face for the first time. Hearing the voices of my parents. My mother called me their greatest surprise. And boy, there sure were lots of them. I remember loving Smallville. The people, the community, how the small things were the big things. And I thought I'd live there forever. But my father's death set me on a different path. Eventually, I moved to Metropolis to become who I was meant to be. vivid memory of all was the day I met her. Everyone in here were the most dependable friends the people in Metropolis have. You remember that? Uh, yes, sir. Stick with Lane. She'll show you the ropes. Uh, Lane? Sir? Who told you to wear a tie? Let me guess, Lombard? Ignore him. No, he can't get box seats to the meteors. You like baseball? Uh, uh, of course. I, I mean, who doesn't like America's pastime, Miss Lane? It's Lois. What'd you say your name was again? Uh, Kent. Clark. Clark Kent. Oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry. Hmm. Never met a Clark before. Oh. Um, I I've never met a Lois before. Uh, nice. Actually, there was my first grade teacher, Lois Hannigan, so I guess technically... Oh, te technically you'd be the second. We fell in love. I told Lois who I really was. Where I came from. first place together the twins came and they were as different as brothers get Jonathan was easy always happy always smiling things with Jordan were more challenging Tantrums, night terrors. A year ago, he was diagnosed with social anxiety disorder. And suddenly, here I am, living in Metropolis, raising two teenage boys, married to the most famous journalist in the world, trying to make the world safer for the people I love.